so this is for one. Oh, it's only one character. Honestly, this is fine. Let's do this. At least on one character. Missed? What do you mean missed? How did that miss? All right, no, all oh, is lame. So in that case, oh, Hilaga is better than Hilara. I've been using Hilara. I could have been using Hilaga. No shock because you love to use Lightning Bolt. What do you mean miss? How was that missing? Do I already have, like, is it because I already have protection to lightning or something? Heal up. Alright, well, don't bother using the null elements. I should have known that would happen. Alright, TMA is not a pushover. This game hasn't been, like, super easy, but, like, there's never been... I mean, that was, like, the first time we wiped out. So, like, the game hasn't been really that difficult. Blaze, now you're switching it up. You're gonna use all the elements here. I hope Cloud goes first in the Phoenix Down. Okay, no, he didn't. That's fine. That's still pretty good. As long as, like, someone's at full health, we're fine. Now, let's hope that he doesn't AoE and kill Squall, but he probably will. Yeah, I figured. Oh, and that killed Vivi, which is annoying. Oh, nice 309. I need to sacrifice your turn to... Get someone up. But then the problem is Yuna goes first. I'm just gonna do this. That's fine. Wait, I thought Yuna went first. I hate everything. Alright, well, actually this... No, but then you're gonna AoE and kill Squall. I hate that Life and Phoenix Downs both bring the character to one. Because now this boss is gonna spam AoEs and there's never gonna be an- I have to get lucky and hope he doesn't just kill the other character. I understand. FF always- Phoenix Downs like always give you one HP. But Life in the later FF games gives you like half HP. I guess they didn't start doing that until later FFs. I hate that. Because in 9, I know Phoenix Downs gave you 1 HP, but life gave you like half HP, which is better than 1. Here's the real question. I'm probably gonna die, so I don't really think it matters what I do. I'm gonna try to survive and hope you just like, you know, physically... Oh, yeah. Okay, the one time he decides, hey, I'm gonna physically attack, it's on the character with 1 HP. This is annoying. I just gave up on getting Squall up for now. I wanna, I, I'd rather just use an AoE heal. Okay, now he's deciding to use like physical attacks. We might be fine as long as I keep Yuna with the healing. Like we're fine. Vivi, please go first. I hope Vivi goes first here. Oh my word, of course not. I'm actually gonna have Cloud use a potion probably because he's like apparently the fastest. Emperor's still going on. Haste is also still going on. Man, the White Mage is so slow. Even with Haste, she's going last a lot. Okay, good. We finally got this in my favor. Don't kill Squall. 
Okay, good. This is gonna be a little spooky, but we might be fine if I just keep pouring on the damage. I'm only doing 93 with VV, huh? That's not good. Please just die. I don't like this boss. This boss is annoying. White Mage with haste still goes last, so like, ah, just keep, keep having her heal. Please go before her. Oh, I hate you. Man, Turnodor is really con inconsistent in this battle. <laughs> definitely don't feel bad for being like quote unquote over the level cap because even like I'm 35 and this boss was annoying. <laughs> I mean we'll see if I have trouble on the final boss, I don't know. If I do, I can just like grind. It's not hard to grind with the XP modifier. That was an annoying fight. It was difficult but also like kind of more tedious than difficult and mostly because like there was never situation i had to rely on him using a single hit to be able to get a party member up because he's like the spam aoe's and every kind of reviving spell would give you one hp so getting in the scenario where it's like oh your party members are back was annoying this is the altar of wind from which the power of wind flows forth i still miss that chest though and i kind of want to find it I really don't want to leave without that chest because I might actually want to like get all the chests in this playthrough. Does my guide have a map? If it does, then maybe that's like... Maybe that's like, you know... the sky fortress done return to the overworld if you miss any spells need items now's the time to stock up and spend your cash we'll be doing that we picked up adamantite we can get excalibur we're gonna do that really quick it doesn't seem like it's hard yeah we're we're almost done chat we are we're in the final dungeon we're we're, we're done basically but i might want to like i might want to like go get the rest of the chests i want to see if i can find the good like map Because if I can, then maybe I will go out of my way to get all the chests. I don't think we missed too many. I know we missed, like, um, a few. Let's take a look at this. Done in Castle Cornelia. We're missing, we're still missing like seven chests in the Chaos Shrine. It might actually be Final Dungeon. Maybe. Let me scroll down and see. Yeah, Final Dungeon has seven chests. We do go to Chaos Shrine for the Final Dungeon. So, we don't have to worry about Chaos Shrine. We're gonna get that trophy to proc in Chaos Shrine. So, where do I need chests? Done in Matoya's Cave. Done in Elven Castle. Marsh Cave, we're missing two chests. Let's see if I can locate those. We're missing two chests in Marsh Cave. You know what, yeah, with the encounter thing, it shouldn't be too hard to find these chests. We, it seems like we're gonna finish the game, like, really soon. We should, we should probably just get all the chests while we're at it. 
Like, we don't, we don't seem to be that far. I'm gonna get another tab open because we're in the Wind Shrine. Doesn't make sense to leave the Wind Shrine, so I'm gonna get this one first. This is the Flying Fortress, right? Flying Fortress. One F has 10 treasure chests. Actually, maybe I should go to the entrance though, just to like restart. That might be easier. I have to go through Mirage Tower again. It's a little annoying. Wait, can I just like fly to, what's it called? No, I have to, I have to like go through Mirage Tower, that's annoying. Shouldn't have left. Oh well, it shouldn't be hard to go through this place. This place is like really short, I'm pretty sure. If I can get another gold trophy out of this playthrough, then I will gladly do it. It doesn't seem like it'll take very long. We're not even an hour in stream, and I feel like the final dungeon will take like an hour and a half. Maybe? Maybe an hour, I don't know. It depends on how much I use the skip encounter modifier. And like bosses, obviously, if I have trouble on them, but if I have trouble on bosses, I'll just like grind. Honestly, I'm gonna be real with you. I feel like putting this to two times X speed just so I don't have trouble on bosses. Like I won't do four times, that's overkill, but at least two times. So I don't have like major trouble. Why did Squall just use a Phoenix down? Okay, so this is easy because they have pictures of the chests. There are 10 chests in this first floor. That's the one I missed. I really missed this one down here, huh? This is literally the chest I missed. <laughs> oh my word, the razor. All right, well that's done. So now we can leave. So the next area I need to go to, we need to go to the Marsh Cave, get two chests in the Marsh Cave? Hey, 35 for you now. Alright, let's get out of here. Bum, bum, bum. There we go. We're done with the uh, flying fortress. So now we go back to the airship. I'm gonna actually go make a. Uh, I might go make Excalibur really quick. And then we do have to look around for magic. I want to get. I wonder if there's a way to get flare. We need better, maybe there's like better black magic to get for Vivi. That would be really nice. Alright dude, found your adamantite. Is this adamantite? Boots, I'll use this to make your, the finest sword you ever, you'll ever wield words. Hopefully Cloud can equip this, because like, if not, what's the point? 
Hey. Done in all my years and never crafted a finer sword. Go on, take her. She's yours. What if you don't choose a warrior? Because you could choose any classes you want. Like, who would be able to equip this? Got the Excalibur. Yep, that's gonna net me a trophy. I figured it would. Cloud can use it. Only warriors can use it, so must must be really awkward if you just do not get <laughs> have a warrior in your team. You can't even make use of it. Interesting. Okay, Marsh Cave. We need to go to. We need to go to Marsh Cave. Mount Gold. Sunken Shrine. And that's it. All right, we only three areas. That's not too bad. We can do this then. We can we can try to get all the chests. So Marsh Cave first, all the way at the bottom here. Bum, 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 bum. Whoops! Didn't mean to land there. So for starters, Marsh Cave. This is B2, B1. I have encounters off, so it shouldn't be hard to like explore. We're missing two chests down here, which isn't too many. Oh, there's no chest in B1. They're all in B2 onward. that way. There are seven chests here, apparently. Let's take a little look-see. One, two, three. And I think there's more up here, probably? Maybe not. Oh, up there. How do I get to that area? Those gotta be my chest. Those have gotta be the ones I need. Because they're not open, it looks like. And maybe it's like a different section of B2 I can go to? Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is where I missed. Nope. <laughs> Never mind. Did I miss this one, maybe? Nope. Got these two. Ooh, down this way, maybe? Please? Nope, got them too! Alright, well, never mind. I don't know where I missed these chests then. We're gonna have to keep moving then. Thought those would be it. Oh, I, I didn't mean to leave. I forgot this was the exit. My bad. Should I go into B3 then? Any other exits? Because there might be multiple in um, Marsh Cave. Okay, no, there's no other exits. Just down this way. So for B3? This is a big area. I can honestly see myself missing like a chest or two here. There's none in these rooms. And down one and left twice.
about one. 